Great, uh, welcome back. And in this video, we're going to be looking again some more rules of differentiation. We're going to be looking at exponential, and then I'm going to put a comma, logarithmic differentiation. Okay, so don't worry if you haven't come across uh, exponential and logarithmic that much before. It's just the numbers e and then your log functions. So either of those two. Okay. So um, they're in algebra, so if you want to go over those, we have some videos on those, just to feel like, uh, make sure you're kind of comfortable with them from the algebra side, and then we can be comfortable with them from the calculus side as well, okay? So we'll just start straight ahead with some examples. So y, oh, no, excuse me, y is equal to e to the power of x, okay? Uh, that means that dy dx is equal to e to the power of x, okay? So that's because e is a special number. Um, it's just it's as a special rule, basically, that if you differentiate it, e to the x is the, the differentiation of it, okay? So e is the only number that's like that. E is a special number, okay? Um, next example we're going to look at is this one here. If y is equal to log of x, then dy dx is equal to 1 over x. Okay, so again, these are all just rules. They're not something you really need to understand. They're just rules you need to learn, and then you can use them to do harder differentiations, okay, and to actually apply your differentiation to a real-life question. So you have to learn these rules off at the start. Okay, uh, hopefully that one's okay. We'll go on with this one here, and we'll say that if y is equal to e to the power of ax, this time a is a constant, okay, uh, so it could be any number, so we'll get some examples later where there, we have numbers instead of just letter A, but it's going to be equal to A multiplied by E to the AX. So you bring the A down and you multiply it, okay? Uh, and again, we'll go orange, and we'll say, if you have, this is the last one, and this doesn't come up super often either, but it's still good to know. Y is equal to A to the X, so now A is a number, so just take note how this is different from e to the x. It, it's the same in the fact that they're both numbers in the bottom, but only e has this property that that, that happens when you differentiate it. Any other number, if you differentiate it, what happens is that dy dx is going to be equal to ax multiplied by log of a. Okay? And that's just the rule for a difference where a can be any constant number. Okay? So now we're going to look at some examples. Uh, so we'll start with just, just draw a line there, with just y is equal to e to the 3x. Okay, so this is going to be our example here in the blue. It's going to be our rule. Um, and we're going to say then that dy dx is going to be equal to 3e to the 3x. So if we look, to, look up to this example here, if it's y is equal to e to the ax, and then you differentiate it, you're going to bring whatever number that is, whatever that a is, down and multiply it by the e. So this is what we had. We had, ooh, excuse me, we had y is equal to e to the 3x, and that means you bring the 3 down, so when you differentiate it, dy dx is equal to 3e to the 3x. Okay, does everyone see that example in action? Okay, we're going to have one more example kind of of this rule. We'll do it in yellow. So I'm going to say now that y is equal to 1 over e to the x, okay? So if you remember this from indices, that if it's 1 over e to the x, that's the same thing as saying that y is equal to e to the minus x, okay? e to the minus x. So again, now we're just going to differentiate it. We're going to say dy dx is equal to minus e to the minus x. So again, this technically is minus 1. So if we bring minus 1 down and multiply it, we're just going to get minus e, and the minus stays the same. We get minus e to the minus x. Is that all good? Yeah? Okay, then I'm just going to quickly do an example. If we have y is equal to 3 to the power of x. So this is an example of our law in the orange here, our rule. So that means our dy dx is going to be equal to 3 to the power of x multiplied by log of 3. Okay? And again, that's just a rule. These are all these, these four rules. They're all in the log tables book. So no need to learn them off. 
actually sorry no there is a, a lead a need to learn them off because you're going to be doing them a lot so you should know instantly how to differentiate them if you are uh, having trouble with them you can always check it but it is good to learn these off because you'll be dealing with them so much okay uh, i hope the video helped and we'll see you next time for more rules of differentiation